Hi everyone, I'm Ferd and welcome to my video. I want to thank each and every one of you that has subscribed to my channel, helped support me and helped me grow. I've had a lot of them here in the past couple weeks. I'm putting aside all the lawnmowers and small engines and I've been asked by a company that I retired from that I do maintenance work for if I could hook an auxiliary tank up to an air compressor in the production shop over there. I've heard of this being done before. I've never done it myself personally. So at this point, before doing it, I don't know if it works. But they were willing to pay me for it. I'm not going to turn it down. And we're going to give it a try. So this video, I'm piping up a old horizontal air compressor tank to an 80 gallon compressor and see if that helps solve their water problem over there. I hope you enjoy the video. Hope you get something out of it. Hope you get a lot of good information out of it. I try to put as much of it in there as I can. Hit that like and subscribe button. Help me grow my channel and I'll keep them coming to you. So let's see if this thing works. All right, what I've got going on here, the company that I'm doing this for wanted an auxiliary tank added to their compressor. And uh, personally, I don't know if this is a solution to their problems or not, but they've got a painter and they've got a couple of other people that do a lot of sanding before it gets to the paint. There's a lot of water. And it has a lot to do with the heat that's being generated from this air compressor. I mean, it's a pretty good size one. It causes a lot of condensation inside the tank, the water in the pipes, and the painter's having a lot of trouble even with the air dryers on his line to uh, keep the water out of his paint. But anyway, we're gonna add this thing to it. And I'm separating the two sides of the shop. You got one side of the shop that's gonna have the people that do all the sanding on it and then the other side of the shop where the painter is. And the painter specifically wanted his air to come through this tank. I was kind of opposed to it. I felt like all of it should have and then everything come to here and then go into you know the lines but he wants it the air from the tank to his paint booth. And this is dedicated to the sanders that go on that side of the shop. And then I'm gonna have air coming out of this that's gonna go straight out to his. But that's the idea of what's going on here. I've still got a lot of plumbing to do. I hate doing these kind of things because I'm not a plumber. I don't have all these little bits and pieces and it's usually 25 tricks back and forth to the hardware store because you never get everything that you need that first time. So I'm going to go ahead and get everything plumbed up on this. I'll come back and then we'll take another look at it and then we'll get this thing over there to the shop, get it hooked up and then see how this thing works. All the plumbing is finished on it and from the compressor there's going to be a hose like this, extension hose from the compressor into the tank and before it gets to the tank, it goes up this pipe and around through the air dryer. This part goes into their production shop and that's where they do all the sanding and stuff at. And then over here on the other side, it comes out and it 
it goes straight through the back here and then this one comes out from the tank over here on this side. All three of these will be connected with a pipe so this can be moved if it needs to be. That's pretty much how it works. He's got his own air dryers, filters and all that over there in the paint shop and we're hoping that the air will be cooled and most of the water will be caught inside this tank before it goes over that way. That's the whole idea of it. I initially wanted everything to come out of the tank and run through that and then split them up on the other end. He didn't want that, but they're the ones paying me, so that's how I did it. So next time you see me, we'll be over there. We're gonna hook this thing up. I've already done a leak test on it, everything is sealed up nice and good. Here's that auxiliary tank sitting in its new home, already hooked up, ready to go. Here's a few arrows on it to show you the airflow uh, front view of what it looks like. This is where I made the connection to the air compressor. One thing that I'd like to note here is that that's a 300 PSI rated hose made by Milton. They're about 20 bucks a piece, three foot long. And make sure you use Teflon tape when you hook these things up. Here's the connection on the other end of the hose to the tank. Picture the airflow. The airflow going up to the dryer on the back of that panel. Out the other side and into the wall going back to the production shop where they do all their sanding. Air goes through the tank and out the other end disappears into the wall back there and goes to the paint shop. Now in the paint shop Take note of that T that I've got there. And there's like a 18 inch straight pipe going straight down with a ball valve on the end of it. Those are great water traps. Those catch a lot of water, but that's pretty much it for the plumbing. I've got them set at 90 pounds. This still has pressure. So this shut off valve here should keep everything from leaking down with the exception of if he's got anything leaking in there in the paint booth i don't have a valve on that one but if he does it'll leak this auxiliary tank down and just be extra work for the compressor to pump it back up that top one there going that way goes into this shop this is where they build all their signs at a few letters laying there getting ready to be painted there's a big one they're working on I wished I could go outside and show you a couple of the signs they got out there they're huge they're freaking huge well if you made it this far thanks for watching I did go back and revisit and it's working real good. If you grab the pipe that's coming right out of the compressor, it's hot. And you grab the pipes where they've went through the tank and through that dryer, they're cold. And the painter told me he's tickled to death. He hasn't had any problems with any water at all since we put that in. So that's a success. They do work. Going back to the video, if, if you remember these letters that you see behind me, I kind of got a shot of him walking through the shop. He actually had just got done painting them the day before I got back over there. And here they are laying on the table. If you put them all together, it spells Hobart. <laughs> They're putting a place up out in Hillsboro from what I understand but anyway there they are and also it was dark when I was there I 
couldn't go outside and show you any of the signs. But here's one out there. It's about 12 foot tall. It's not the same one that you saw inside the shop. It's still in there. That actually goes with the Hobart one. But over here, there's uh, front and back. These actually go around the outside of that sign. But anyway, that was our little adventure through the shop. Thanks for watching. I hope you got something out of this. I hope it helps you. If you're going to do this, use copper pipe. But get your wallet out. Copper's expensive. And have fun. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha.